Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the massively updated action roguelite. We are going to be going in here today with the Paladin is the plan. You are granted 30 to 40 radiant damage per maximum point of armor you have. So I'm going to be bringing in this one, the Replenishing Repair Powder, because I've really enjoyed it in the past on heavy armor runs. I've just kind of stopped doing those in favor of damage, but now armor is damage. So in we shall go. With the paladin, we got the helmet and the shield and a crusader mace. So, hey, we'll see. We don't have to go... Let's see. Recover a heart whenever you repair your armor. Fully repair your armor whenever you enter a floor. I mean, yeah, it's pretty darn good. And it gives us two armor pieces right off the bat. Minus one doll skill. I got the trash one. Oh, well. Uh, we'll probably end up changing that. We have 5 to Strength, 1 to Intelligence. And we're also <laughs> so encumbered right off the bat. 75 out of 75 immediately. The big question is if I'm going to go Strength or if I'll try and pivot into like an Intelligence. Could be definitely beneficial. After not attacking for one second, stock up on one guaranteed lethal hit for primary attacks to a maximum of 10. It's certainly not bad. Not bad at all. Rage is actually really good now, I think. I bumped my mic there. So we can get up to 40% increased attack speed. And primary attacks grant rage melee grants an additional. So we can stack it up twice as fast, not twice as high. We'll do it. We'll get a key. I'll avoid the decks because right now we have none, which means we won't be offered anything uh, for upgrades that have to do with decks, which I'll say is a good thing. I'll say is a good thing so we can try and st streamline a build. We've obviously gone for lots of decks. You know, I think yesterday was a very heavy decks build. So in a weird turn of events, we're in a spot where... Um, I think that strength is one that I haven't done in a while. Boop, boop. What are we at for damage? <laughs> oh my god, you ding dong. <laughs> uh, quite the thing there. But we also have the uh, the blessing thing. I forgot about that AoE because it's not marked, you know? It doesn't mark that he's going to do this AoE attack. Can't believe I got hit through freaking Minotaur, though. We go here. That's a melee against Minotaur problem only there. Goodbye. But yeah, uh, lucky hits from Glitter goes up to 10 stacks, increases our... That adds 2.5% chance to lucky hit, so it doesn't increase your lucky hit chance, which is good. Um, adds fire damage. I think, wasn't there a perk that was like, um, it benefits burn and Radiant Damage kind of, like, combines them. I know stuff like that only appears if it's relevant. So, like, and by that I mean it'll only appear if we have both of those things. So maybe it'll show up as a result, and we can see maybe what that'll do. Ooh! Intimidates on hit with crits... Shocking one. I mean, we've used the Maelstrom. I'll prefer this one, probably. But what's that damage at? 302? It's really, it's not that, um... Not that different. Obviously, this has better range, though. And we got that shock for that extra, extra status effect. New Wormies... Oh, this has piercing. Yeah, that's nice. Don't really have much to sell. It's Gun Cena. All right. We've actually stocked up very well on keys and bombs. Oh, God. Well enough to go for that, though? I guess I don't know. I feel like these are usually not worth it. Mm. 
meh. I stand by it. I The last, like, f I don't know, five times I've gone in one of those, it's felt like a bad idea when I've left. You know, I've been like, ah. Okay, so we can we can equip something. There's a lot of boots that have armor upgrades. Let me just take a look at that. Oh. Do I need to get you out of the way? Probably not. So Intimidate is... They take more damage. Nothing to do with distance. It's a multiplier. It's just a helpful thing. One block and two armor. We would lose the set bonus. 20% increased melee damage. This thing has a weight of 40. You're out of your mind. That's crazy. I'll get, I'll get this. I don't have any dice for a reroll. Where are we going? Are we going good? We already have the plus one, so let's say yeah. I'm just going to try and avoid <laughs> decks. Let's just go heavy in on strength and see what kind of memes we can do. Though... I do think we should we should get some intelligence because that whatever that radiant slash burn thing is it's got to be an intelligence based perk right so we want to have some mm. I'm enjoying this weapon a lot more than I thought I would I'm hating this room a lot more than I thought I would Why is it? It's so armored because of that. That's why. Boop, boop, boop. An event room costs health. Slow swift saber. Meh. <laughs> Nobody got time for this. I mean, it's a good thing. Worth one gold. I, mean, I, I guess I'll take it if it, <laughs> it's the only choice. Ooh. Intelligence and strength. I mean, that's exactly what we're looking for there, basically. So when we replenish armor on floor start, will that give us a heal for whatever reason? Like, if I, if I don't have armor missing, will it give me the heal? Because if I need to replenish armor to do it, then it could be tactically a good idea eh, in some runs to uh, to take that damage. Wait, not the crab, the can. Wrong one. I do want to get the key. I don't know why I'm tunnel visioning the strength that hard. I guess because there's some really heavy things. All right, mister. Summons out of the way. Okay. Give me a crit. Thank you. Yeah, one, one crit. Oh, no, I need a new crit. There we go. With that 15% uh, multiplier up. Dingus dongus. Walked right into the laser at the last second. <laughs> uh, Wow. 20% crit chance? Yeah, that's just good. That's just that's just really good. I don't know what to say. That's fantastic. 
uh, helps us get more crits with the weapon here and thus more reliable intimidates. So that does heal us. Good to know. The knockback on this weapon is really high. It's a thing I don't notice very often. I could see this being useful. It's got the stats that we're going to utilize. I mean, sure, I'll take a, I'll take one dex if it means we can take strength. Ooh. Yeesh. Yeah, kind of saw that one coming. Why are you so tanky, guy? Because they have super armor. That's why. Jesus. I do not want a minus intelligence. The magic tech might... Is it doing more... Oh, it's hard to say because it's also doing extra damage there. But we don't have a reroll, so I guess that makes it pretty clear we go for the Bone Crusher. And if we go for the Bone Crusher, we probably do want to go for the Magi Magi Hammer, whatever the hell. So we'll take a look at it. I mean, I'll go for any intelligence we find. It seems good. But yeah, we'll get that extra crushing hit. <laughs> there. Life will be sorted back to normal. It's doing some nuts damage. And it's technically weak against that guy. So, the issue is the range. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad. Bad dodge. Bad. Pretty good. Ideally, we swap between the two right now. We go boop. We mark them. And then we switch to this when they're marked. Uh, lab coats. Oh, yeah. I take this for selling, I guess. Can't sell, can't sell the repair powder. I think I'll be fine. I have the replenishing one, and I haven't needed it yet. Cursed burger. Sure. Oh god. Whoa. What is happening in here? Kind of just needed to use that range to my advantage at this point. Yiminy Christmas. Oh my god. It's definitely a lot less to use. Thank god for the minus armor on the worms. Like, that was so unnecessary. I'm glad it's gone. We have plenty of bombs. OK. 
Okay, some kind of armor. What's what is the green armor from? Not web enchanted. Not airstrike. It's just a it's just a thing about them, I guess. So I have a you know, I have a unique situation where I'm gonna heal like a lot more than even normal. So Extra suppression. Three potions. I'd rather get that treasure rock. Chill also increases your critical damage taken. Do I take it? If I wear it, the game will... I mean, it's irrelevant right now. It does nothing, so I don't want the game to think I want it. Well. I think I'm going to finally... I'm just going to say no to the curse, curse beef at the moment. Chunk, 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 chunk. What are you doing, dude? Burger keeps on giving me giving me one dex and then I get rid of it. Yeah. You're definitely seeing the issue with this weapon is just that range. It's so close. I have one dex and I still got an I still got an agility modifier for here. Uh Shield bash. Well, hello. Trying to engage with it in the normal way, but it's just like it's just a freebie to do it this way. I want to do it cool way. It's just, it's a cool boss, but like, if you're supposed to engage with it the normal way, it's a much harder boss than a normal one. Or you can engage with it in the cheese way, in which it's one of the easiest bosses ever. But it's also tedious. It's kind of tedious the normal way too, though. Anybody who has those invincibility phases is... It's easy to get a little annoyed at, you know? What this? 30% increase. Uh, damage at close range. I mean, it's good. That's good, but I'm not taking off my, uh, my thing. Oh, that's right. We have the 30% crit chance now. It's hard to say that I should swap that off. Didn't realize I still had that stinker. So we're good, but we're not pure good yet. Um, that's fantastic. That's really good. I'm actually going to take the zinc as well. I need some intelligence stat. Need is a strong word, but I'd, I'd like to... I'd like to mix and match these a little bit. That being said, come on, man. What was that dodge? Uh-oh. Why am I... Wait. Why was I throwing out the bones with that? Hmm. I could easily still be convinced. To swap. 100% eh, against dragons, whatever. Fury on hit, 100% chance to repeat. 
you know, meh. So you know, meh to that too. Let's just get something. Let's get. We got a plus two there. The freaking jellies. The freaking jellies. They were throwing out so many of. Why are we getting the? Crushing hits grant you five bone splinters. Primary attack consume one splinter to trigger. Gotcha. So we don't need to be whoop, using the other thing to get the crushing hit. We get one crushing hit there and then we swap back. Yeah. I've always taken that, and it, that perk has always been really good. I've never, I just never read it closely, because it's just like, you take it, and it goes, the uh, run goes kaboom, in a good way. It's hard to say that that's bad. It's also extremely heavy. I can really easily get to... I can really easily get to that, though, is the thing. I'll buy it and we'll we'll think about it. I don't have the money for any of that. I don't have the... I don't even have those gloves on. It's just because it's a 100. It's just a freaking 100 is why. I don't know what I'd do with the tavern. I'll say Paladin initially seems extremely good. <sighs> extremely good. I have. I almost passed that. Oop, worm man. Worm man last. I will say, no matter what, I am finding myself swapping to the longer range thing more often. I'll check an epic. Nice easy breezy phase to uh, kill summons too. That's without the 100% increase, man. are gloves, aren't they? On dash, trigger a fan of... I mean, hang on. Sure. It's very cool. I don't know if I'll end up keeping it. It's hard to say. Come here. Bonk. That, that seems to do a lot. Ho! I feel like I might have to. Definitely take it. That's a... It'd be a good buy to the paladin thing. I mean, it's a legendary cool shield, though. I wish- I just wish it was one armor instead of two block, even though block is better. Eh, live a little. Live a little by not living as much. Okay, this thing seems to be doing crazy damage. Uh, what? 
Each point of strength grants... I mean, it's so good. Grants a crushing hit chance. Well, we have the crushing hit chance on this anyways. I don't know. It's probably better. 100% lethal hit chance. I mean, this is cool. Plus one. So it should sell for more, I guess. Man. Um. Yeah, if we can afford it, we want to go for this one. Zinc. The Zinca. I, I kind of like the idea of the Magitek hammer better. Also, the damage to go with it kind of, you know, kind of proves it. Um... Well, now you have to, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't kill this little volcano. Uh-oh. It's hard to not with that, uh, the spike thing. A swagger build with that on dash effect? I mean, if swagger shows up, I do think we have to take it. Hmm. I mean, I'm probably more likely to take a magic weapon than an offhand at this point. Love it. Eighty, yeah, eighty-six percent crushing hit chance is pretty good. Oh. I mean, that'd be the thing, but crap, crappy sin by. I mean, I think we just take it to sell. Uh, we don't need any more good, but I will look. If it was normal armor, I would take it. We have stuff that's just good enough. I'd rather save up and get that other uh, final points of mana that we need for the max kabang. Man, you just do not want me to have any intelligence, do you? Big souls. Um, <laughs> get him, boys. Still don't have any re rolls. Oh, finally. I think we do it. It's a little sad, but oh well. Can we ride this yet? No, I almost can. I mean, I technically I can wear it. It's gonna be tough to get rid of the crit chance thing though, because it is really good. Grants 10% increased attack speed. Each one. Mm. 
this seems like it would be logical. Because, but I, because it seems relevant to the build, but it's, I just don't have any lucky hit. Barbarism is just nuts. Which means that, like, we probably shouldn't even swap off of the arm. I don't know, should we? No. Yeah, we should still swap off the middle thing. I don't know. It's all a little bit, a little bit weird. Tiny answer does what again? Dex buff. None that interesting. I'm just gonna. I think I might just uh, force myself. Uh oh. Into using this sucker. Feels good though. I don't know. I could easily swap my accessory, like, very, very easily. Okay. We definitely want to kill the summons in phase one, because he does some annoying stuff in phase two. I mean, he does some annoying stuff all the time, but... Oh god. Oh no. My help! We're not gonna be healed on the next floor though, I guess. That's the... That is the oh no! During combat, periodically trigger your on-kill and on-taking damage effects. I mean, I wish that was something right now. I think I'll... I think I'll take it on... Pro you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on, even though this is helping me... It's helping me more. I'm going to be real. It's helping me more. I would love to do a build where I could, you know, take advantage of that a little bit more. So we have 100%. Yeah, we have 100% crushing hit chance. Finally, we can get some dice. Okay. Again, not that we need 100 for, like, the bone spears. I'll, I'll look. Moonshine Greatsword. Dominantly an intelligence scaling weapon. I'll take it. Uh, petrified armor. It's what I would go for anyways, because I don't want to reduce my... Don't want to reduce my intel intelligence. Did not see that bone there. Okay, wait, I got hit by another thing? You dirty devil, you. You dirty devil, you. Oh, that's right. I don't... I don't remember. Grants 25 power. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll say, um... Where is it? Is the crushing hit chance thing? Oh, it just says that while I'm holding this weapon. It, that's not actually true. Not true in general. It's just with that weapon. Okay, the range is pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> it's... Mm. 
getting these stinkers out of the way will be usually very helpful. Tavern, uh, you know, sure. Intelligence, finally? <laughs> Headhunter, 30% increased damage to bosses. I mean, that's fun. It's a lot of red dice. Get him, boys. Wow, the vibes on that was immaculate. I knew exactly that I was... I just knew. I just knew. Uh-oh. I let the worms go. Eesh. Ooh, that's right. It was not even um, a tunes. I could easily be convinced. Surprisingly good melee phase. We get a gold one. I guess I'll get rid of it for selling. I'll check a good shop. Yeah, that's... I'd say it's a deal. If I would buy it for 30, I should buy it for 10, right? The question is, would I buy it for 30? Oh, finally. Finally, some, like, some luck on the intelligence front. Oh. I thought he would have been dead for sure. That's literally that whole thing. I just thought he would have been dead. Sure. Love this. Um. Okay. Can you tell that was a triple enchanted room? I sure couldn't. We did lose a lot of crit chance by swapping chest plates, but I think that's fine. Holy Fire is a fire buff that grants 75 to 150 fire damage last 8 seconds. All fire and elemental damage inflicts burn. It's what I wanted, but like it's just not that. It's just not that good. <laughs> oh, a fire buff that grant you seventy-five to one hundred fifty fire damage, and that can burn on taking damage, which happens every eight seconds. Get a buff that makes you do one hundred percent increased damage. Classic firm. I feel like it. You know, I'll rip the bandaid off. I don't think it's gonna stack, but the fact that yeah, we have it. Yep. We have 100% increased damage for the whole room. I feel like that's... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm off base. Seems pretty good. Mm. 
Could I be convinced to swap off the magic hammer at this point? I'd be hard pressed to find something that would be better. We'll do this and then we'll technically want to take a couple hits. So that I can use up my, um, my who's it, what's it? Extra flat, I don't care. Do it! Oh! Jeez! Ah. I'm willing to just stack a whole bunch of mana and make this thing impossible to switch off of. So. Recover a heart whenever you repair your armor. Recover a heart whenever you repair your armor. What would I swap off of at this point? I mean, I'm not married to my gloves. And I'm not married to my helmet. I'm a little married to the weapon, but I'll I'll take a look. The range on it is a little bit suspect here. Oh, I needed to take damage. I mean, need is a, it's a strong word. I could heal up easier if I took damage. Is this is a kazoo. It is a kazoo. Guaranteed crushing into closer. I mean, that's all irrelevant. I mean, the war fans aren't bad. Got the plus three. So does the, I'll take the kazoo. <laughs> I'll take the kazoo because it says the word crushing hits just in case the game sees that. We have a black die, is there? I feel like there's... Honestly, no. Actually, right now we don't have any dead perks at all. Going to heaven, yes. We do not have any dead perks, which is a surprise to me. Increased damage with non-crits. I don't know if how often we crit. The answer seems to be uh, a decent amount. Resin? I'll take a... Take a resin. Ugh. Somebody's absorbing me, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing to sell anymore. Double armor buffed. When will it end? That's actually a trigger. I'll tell I mean, it grants an experience too, uh, which, you know, is something. John Zayna! Goodbye. Interesting. That helps with shield bash. And that's it. But it's, which would be good. I want to I do want to point that out that that would be good. 
beef. Striking damage. Um. Uh oh. Is this body damage? This is thrusting. Puncture adds. Inflicts a stack. Uh, do you do thrusting? You do thrusting. Okay, pointy end works. Works because of the summons, if nothing else. I. Slashing. Uh oh. I think I got hit in the midst of that. I really don't know. It was a little bit of info spam. But then again, what isn't at this uh, high of cinder level? Is info spam, but like, I don't know. It's one of those things where the game you get so busted. Oh, interesting. That could be. If I get the other thing, that could be useful. Especially because it's gloves. Yeah. I I would I would do that. Right? No, I wouldn't. That doesn't actually help us that much. But I'm also not using the boots, and there's no no place to sell anything. So why would I care? Okay. Get ready. Let's go, gang. I just know you can get behind them. Oops. That was... Wild. Not once. <laughs> Legendary. Uh, while good, your primary attacks inflict judgment. Judgment is an ailment. Okay. And judgment damage is now based on total infliction. Whoa! Judgment is a stackable radiant that consumes 100% of stacks to deal accumulated radiant damage again. So it's kind of like a double damage type situation. As long as you're good, which I am. Not like a double damage. Three stacks. Upon reaching three stacks, it procs for 100% of accumulated radiant damage, but now radiant is now everything. Everything is radiant. That seems... pretty crazy. So every three hits, but it probably does have to be, you know, here's the catch. Probably has to be from me. Your primary attacks inflict charge. I mean, it's... I don't know what to say. It's going to be stupid. It's still going to be very stupid. I'll take a lucky hit chance. Why not? I don't know that anybody's going to live long enough for it to matter. Like, they need to get... They need to live through three hits for it to be relevant. Okay. Okay. That didn't do damage.
I'll take some companion damage. Uh oh. Here come the worms. Ooh. I have 14, sure. That's good enough. Helmets on draining accumulator amount of man inflict corruption of one man inflict a corruption all enemies in the room. Oh, I don't have, I just, I don't have the money for that. Stamina Surge, I'll take that. I think I'd rather get the resin. I would... I'd be curious to see what this, what that would bring. But yeah, a weapon this close range in this zone is pretty hard to justify. Floor 8. Speaking of hard to justify. Don't think we need a key. When there's no more locked anythings. Alright. Just get in there and smack... Am I able to do this? While being in melee range? I think so. Honestly, the fact that I perfected that, I know it was not very long. But I feel I feel a little redeemed. That was some good schmovement. For the three seconds the fight lasted. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can definitely see the uh, the impact of that judgment chunking there. It was quite good. I like it. it. It felt pretty paladin, too. Like, it would have been nice to get the uh, the holy fire thing, but I think the issue is it's just... You need both... Like, I needed a weapon that did fire damage, you know? For that to be anything, really. Like, a, a, a weapon that's whole damage chunk was fire damage. And leaning into that a little bit more. It's a cool thing, but it just was not for this run unfortunately that being said that was a that was a lot of fun that run uh felt really 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 good so let's see we've got what do we have left we have just cyborg technically jester for real we played the doppelganger and then chaos and then we are and then we are done we're in the home stretch, gang. It's been real. It's been fun. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're we're on our way out. Alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Legacy more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.